Good morning and welcome to the channel today. We've got a pretty good episode for you. I, this is the third video in my X-Pro3 series. And today I decided that I was gonna go out and use the M-mount adapter, which I've done like three videos on this already, but it's a pretty cool little item. And really today's kind of special because I'm using it on a rangefinder style camera, which has the viewfinder over here on the left side. So I'll tell you, my usual uh, experience with this camera is to use the 23 F2. I really, really like this lens. But today I decided to go out and use some M mount lenses. I have some Leica lenses that I use quite often. And this is the 51.4, and it just works really well on this. So one of the things I really like about this M mount adapter is this little button right here because once you push that button, it brings up the menu for manual focus lenses. And you can go in and make all sorts of changes as to how you want it to appear, and you can edit the name of it. You can call it whatever you want, uh, like for my 21 Super Elmar. There you go. I can just label, label it uh, 21 Super Elmar. And if you have any specific uh, changes that you want to make uh, regarding distortion, or color balance or any of that stuff, you can make those changes in that menu for each specific lens that you have that you use you know, manually on this camera. So one of the things I really like is the ability to change the brightness of the frame lines on the fly, just like this right here. So I went out and made just a few images. I shot some with my 21 Super LMR, I shot some with my 35 Summicron and some with my 51.4 Summilux right here. Now, any M lens is gonna fit. There's some Chinese brands out there. There's some, uh, there's Zeiss. There's some beautiful lenses out there that are not as nearly as expensive as Leica lenses are. So, as long as you're in this X-Pro line, why not try it? Um, you don't necessarily need to buy the, the M mount adapter, although it's a great one. There's a number of different brands that make dumb adapters that don't talk to the camera at all, and you can get them as low as $20. Now, they can be a little bit sloppy sometimes or too tight. I remember I got one that was really, really tight. The first one I bought was really, really tight. I had to send it back. It was just too, it was too tight to use. And uh, I've got to tell you, great, great way to get used to focusing manually and everything. It's a lot of fun. So let's go look at the images that I took this morning. I think you'll really like them. They're kind of cool. Uh, I used my 21 Super LMR, my 35 Summicron, and my 50 Summilux 1.4. So one of the great things about this Leica 21 millimeter Super LMR is, is that it's really, really sharp. And it's just like shooting with a full frame 35 millimeter equivalent. Now, my problem here is focusing. Sometimes I can get it right, sometimes I can't. And with the split image, I focused here on the grasses in the foreground and everything else is kind of a little bit out. Like the no parking sign is a little out. What are you gonna do? So this next one here of these lobs this lobster trap and the buoys in the background worked out a lot better and it's really sharp. Man, this is a, I'm not sure the, the subject matter, which I shoot a lot of is great, but at least it's, you know, it's passable, and it was a great example using this particular lens. Now the next lens that I decided to use was the 35 millimeter Summicron that I have, and it's a 53 millimeter equivalent. And I'm not used to this, that focal length that much, but you know, if I do a lot more of it, I'll get more used to it. This image here, I really like that I use with it. It's a vertical image, and as it zooms in here, you can, see that it's pretty sharp from about the middle of the lobster trap to the to the buoy in the background there. I really like this image a lot and I uh, loved using this lens in this particular format. Now, the next lens up was the 50 millimeter Simulux f1.4, a 75 millimeter full frame equivalent. Uh, I again another focal length I don't you really use that much but if you go around and actually look for subjects that are in that range it works quite well and I shot this sign a number of times but it, this is the best 
rendition of it that I have. Next one I shot at f1.4 of this chain and um, I was able to use the uh, electronic viewfinder with the screen down and it worked out great. So, you know, the other thing that I like to talk about with this particular camera is some of the things that I like and some of the things I don't like. Now, I don't mind having this rear screen like this fold up. That doesn't bother me at all. It's this submenu here, the submenu screen. My, I mean, you know, I'm getting old, I'm older here. So really seeing this, it, you've got to put it in the right light to see it. And it's just not easy to use. And you can pull up the, um, uh, you can use it to show you all your shooting information as well. And you can change the background so it's a little bit easier to see, but really, I don't like it at all. It just doesn't work that well for me. A um, couple of things I do like, I really like the rubber on this little grip right here. There's rubber here and there's rubber right here. It's really comfortable to hold. It's not bad at all. I really like this dial up here that you lift this up and change the, um, the ISO. It's great. And the, you know, this, this wheel right here for exposure compensation, it's in a great spot. You can change this, you can put it on C and turn this little dial right here and it changes your exposure compensation or your front one, you can adjust it. Um, and it's just like any other Fuji camera. There's so many ways to adjust all of the function buttons. There's a button up here. There's a hidden button right here, which is kind of hidden. There's the Q menu button. So one of the other little secret squirrel function buttons is this one right here on the front. I change this to playback. So my finger right here hits it automatically. <laughs> so it's great. I don't, have to I don't have to flip the screen down to look at it. With my eyes the way they are, it's easier to look through here and turn on your playback here. So like I said, there's a lot of things about this camera that I really like. I, I love being able to look through the optical viewfinder. Um, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not, which is kind of interesting. You know, uh, I'm so used to using the uh, electronic viewfinders on the other cameras that this is a little bit different. Thank you so much for watching today's video and all of the videos in the X-Pro series, X-Pro 3 series. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. And really, that's it for today. So we'll catch you next time.